Hello friends, I am Kostub. I hope you are doing well and utilizing the time at your disposal properly and effectively for prelims 2020. Today we are here to discuss about the test, current affairs test that was conducted yesterday. The discussion uh, is going question wise, there are 25 questions totally. So let us start the discussion without wasting time. First, Danakil depression. Now this Danakil depression is in Ethiopia. Why is it significant? See, uh, we know that in uh, if you follow the history of human, human evolution, uh, life originated around Ethiopia. It is believed that, right? So, this is, Danakil depression is considered to be the place which is cradle of human civilization. So, why why is, is it significant? Uh, I'll just give you the points. Uh, it is in northeast Ethiopia, northern end of the Great Rift Valley. But then, uh, as the statement in the question says that along with Lake Victoria, so Lake Victoria is not part of Great Rift Valley. But Danakil depression is. So, it is located at northern end. Uh, it's called Afar Triangle. A-F-A-R. Afar Triangle. It's an inland drainage system. It is separated uh, from Red Sea by live volcanoes. It is formed by evaporation of inland water body. So, there is a river called Awash. A-W-A-S-H. Awash river that flows there. And no water goes out of it. So, it's an inland drainage system. Everything evaporates. And then salt accumulates there. So, uh, it is formed by evaporation of an inland water body. It is covered by nearly 10 lakh tons of salt which is present there, 10 lakh tons, right? It is also economically extracted. Uh, it is in uh, the, of interest to researchers because uh, they study extremophile microbes. So, the microbes or microorganisms that can survive in extreme surroundings. So, extremophile, they are called extremophile. So, extremophile microbes cannot survive, even those cannot survive here in Danakil. Why? Because it is one of the uh, hottest areas on the earth, also the lowest one, right? Uh, why they cannot survive? What are the barriers to survival of even the extremophile microbes? Magnesium dominated brines that cause the cells to break down. That is the first reason. And second, it has an environment which has simultaneous low pH and high salt. So, that is also not good for adaptation. Now, uh, this Danakil depression is formed or is located at a divergence of three tectonic plates at the Horn of Africa. Right? One of the hottest and the lowest places on earth I have already mentioned. Uh, it is considered cradle of human civilization. Fossils of and why uh, fossils of Australopithecus lucy were found here. I think uh, she is dated 3.2 million years ago. So uh, Australopithecus lucy. This can be asked in uh, UPC prelims, and uh, many hot springs are also present in this location. So if you look at the question, uh, answer is D. Incorrect. Which are like Answer is D. Two and three only. So these are two incorrect because second statement is incorrect. I've, as I have mentioned, Victoria Lake Victoria is not part of Great Rift Valley and boundary of Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi. This is wrong. It is located in Ethiopia, close to the boundary of Eritrea. So third statement is also incorrect. Answer is D. Second question. It is about Aconcagua. Now when you speak about Mount Aconcagua, this is true that out of Asia, this is the tallest mountain, the tallest peak in Africa's. It's a volcanic mountain. So uh, it is an Andes mountain, Cordillera, six nine six zero meters. Uh, to be precise, 6960.8 meters is the altitude. It is the second of the seven summits of the world, top seven summits of the world, Chile-Argentina border and uh, it has volcanic origin. It is because of the subduction of Nazca plate below the South American plate. But presently, is it, it, it's an, is it an active volcano now? No. What has happened is, in the due process of subduction of Nazca below the South American plate, that subduction has stopped now or it has altered in a manner that now it is compaction majorly. So, it is not actively subducting. So, what has happened is, it has resulted into detachment of this volcano from the uh, betholith or uh, I would say not betholith exactly, the magma chamber. So, because of this what is happening is, magma is not coming up now. It has been completely detached from that magma source. So, presently it is not a volcanic in, uh, in nature, but yes, its origin is volcanic. So, this is about Aconcagua. Uh, second, Aconcagua is formed due to folding of Alps. It is in Italy, Switzerland. This is wrong. It is an, uh, and is, it is on the border of Argentina and Chile. So, second statement is wrong. First statement is correct. So, answer is A1. Question 3. Incorrect about organic agriculture in India. Now, when we speak about organic agriculture in India, I would like to give you certain information. See, it is 30% of world's organic farmers are in India. 30%. So, it is huge, right? However, if you consider area-wise, we have just 2.59% of world's organically cultivated area. So, it's less. And third, uh, this is on the basis of what? World of Organic Agriculture Report. So, uh, 2018's report, hai, World of Organic Agriculture Report. Now, as per this report, what are the major problems? Not on, only as per the report, uh, 
on the basis of other uh, resources also on internet i have found out uh, a list so what are the list here poor policy measures generally the barriers faced by organic cultivation or cultivators poor policy measures second low uh, sorry higher input cost third limited mar- availability of market so backward and forward ch- uh, chains uh, gl- linkages with market markets there less then pest attacks are increasing then low initial yields at least it takes a decade to yield to come to the earlier levels to chemical agriculture so it takes lot of time uh, in the first two or three years the yield generally falls down so that is very difficult and it is suggested that uh, government should help farmers during these times then increase in labor cost and then lastly certification systems so india we you know it's it's a red tape right multiple systems of certification uh, no proper standard and then the processes are cumbersome costly so this is all uh, discouraging for the farmers into agriculture so if you look at the question here incorrect vicharla has second statement b is the answer almost 15% of agricultural land in india is inorganic not at all right very less amount next uh, question number 4 utilities of flash uh, here all points are uh, 1 2 3 and 5 are correct fourth is wrong antibiotics right fly hash has nothing to do with antibacterial drugs right so uh, rest all the points are correct uh, utility of fly hash so answer is c 1 2 3 and 5 only question 5 metal and toxic effects so when you speak about question 5 here the answer should be b 2 only it is correctly matched cadmium results into itai 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 is in japan it's it's a japanese name it means it hurts it hurts that's japanese language so that is cadmium that is true mercury should be minimata right minimata bay tokyo and uh, surrounding area and nickel leads to dermatitis actually it's not just nickel leads to dermatitis dermatitis is an inflammation of the skin and this can occur due to multiple causes so virtually pinpointing a cause for dermatitis is very very difficult right near impossible because what happens is there are organic inorganic metals foods oils uh, pollens anything can result into skin irritation right so uh, but here yes mercury minimata and nickel dermatitis that could have been the correct thing but then 1 and 3 is wrong so correct option which are answer is b two only question 6 about northeast council when you speak about northeast council it is a nodal agency for economic and social development of northeast states that is true but there is nothing like afspa or non afspa so all eight northeast states sikkim was added later so all eight uh, north east states and then uh, it is under uh, ministry of uh, home affairs so that point is correct that union home minister is the ex officio chairman and uh, this is a statutory body under the north east council act 1971 right so here constitutional law this is wrong incorrect statement is one incorrect statement is two and third statement is correct so answer is a one and two only question 7 it is about the provision of free legal aid actually if you look at the constitutional provisions you can associate free legal aid with 14 21 38 39 39 a right all these articles but if you say nalsa it is specifically associated with 39 a right according to the constitution and if you even follow this free legal aid is very very important in any polity uh, which is democratic the reason is if you follow the basics regarding it montesk has rightly said that all people are born free but then in due course of time in society due to various reasons what happens is uh, people get distinct uh, uh, develop i mean many people lose this freedoms right that they were born with so it is only through the rule of law that you can give this equality to everyone in political sphere so here all these articles like i, I repeat again 14 21 38 39 39 a can be associated with free legal aid but as per this answer it is 1 and 3 so 21 and 39 a right answer is c question number 8 work property now what is this work property this is every all charitable donate donated land which can be used for graveyards graveyards musafir khanas and so on right this cannot be sold this is under the work board so it manages it this is like donor and donor is called wakif right a person who donates land is called wakif so here uh, it can be used for graveyards musafir khanas and all it cannot be sold uh, if work uh, property is to be dealt with financially you have to take the permission of court right so here uh, all of the above is correct all points are correct here in the question answer is d question 9 national party status uh, here also all points are correct national people's party is a meghalayan party pa sangba right he was expelled uh, expelled from uh, this uh, ncp in 2012 after that he formed this party so uh, all points here are correct in uh, question number 9 so answer is d 10th 
good governance index it is d again ministry of personal public grievances and pensions see question number 11 uh, here it is about gsat 1 we are aware that gsat 1 was to be launched by march by isro however isro has postponed it the launch of this gsat 1 has been postponed by isro this postponement by isro has been done uh, right because of technical reasons now this gsl it was to be launched by using gslv not pslv and it is to be launched in geosynchronous orbit not geostationary so both the orbits are at location of 36000 kilometers at an altitude of 36000 kilometers from the surface uh, of the earth however there is a crucial distinction between geostationary and geosynchronous you are aware of it right geostationary appears at the same location to an observer on surface throughout uh, i mean 24 into 7 every time however geosynchronous will come at a particular exact location in sky at a particular time of the day every day to a observer who is static on the surface of the earth this is geosynchronous uh, for what is this uh, satellite being launched it is real time imaging of uh, indian subcontinent and surrounding ocean 42 meters resolution is uh, given for gsat 1 and uh, its twin gsat 2 it will also be launched by isro in august 2020 at least it is planned like that so here question number 11 the answer is a one only because uh, statement 2 speaks about PSLV but it is GSLV. Question 12 Sathi Sophisticated Analytical and Technical Help Institute point 1 is correct incorrect is point 2 because scheme is launched by Ministry of Human Resource and Development no it is Minist uh, Department of Science and Tech under the Ministry of Science and Technology. Next question number 13 AN32 aircraft right biojet fuel the question is on biojet fuel so what is biojet fuel? Uh, it can be prepared from vegetable oil it can be prepared from sugars animal fats even waste biomass including sewage sludge so all this can give rise to uh, biojet fuel and the benefit is this can be blended with aviation turbine fuel and this can be used in existing aviation jet engines without any modification so uh, jatropha is a major source jatropha krukas it's a major source right and jatropha in india the land identified is the semi-arid land especially gujarat rajasthan belt and even uh, Western Ghats uh, range had variate can be grown. So, this is here. So, here uh, above statements are correct. Uh, answer given here is C, both 1 and 2. Now, 14 exercise Ajay Warrior. This is with UK. It is being held in Salisbury Plain in England. Right. So, uh, 14 it is United Kingdom. 15th question joint command. First uh, point is correct. However, second point there is no tri service command. Uh, tri service command we have AFSOD this is called armed forces special operations division this is a tri service command in India apart from that at Andaman Nicobar also we have first and only tri service theater command in Andaman and Nicobar at Port Blair so second statement is wrong first statement is correct answer is A about locust attack what are locusts these are short horned grasshoppers in a swarming phase that is also called gregarious phase right this is the most notorious of this is called the desert locust now they uh, recently they were in news because of the locust attack that has been seen in eastern part of africa right and that can cause famine droughts and uh, i mean uh, famine majorly and uh, poverty uh, and migration of people destruction of livelihoods so here uh, both the statements are wrong because first statement says that found only at eastern african countries no it's found in asia also americas also and uh, africa also locust majorly eat cereal crops but do not affect broadleaf plants nothing like that these are very dangerous because they can consume in a day the food or plant weight equal to its own body weight and then they can consume any crop most of the crops and any part of the crop so fruits flower stalk uh, seed even uh, stems leaves everything can be consumed by the locusts so both the statements are wrong here 17th pesticide management bill uh, first is correct second is also correct third cotton crops consume uh, consume maximum pesticides no it is paddy paddy consumes 29 percent cotton consumes 19 percent of the total consumption of pesticides in india that is why one and two are correct answer is a next is question number 18 when we speak about question number 18 uh, it's about the ports so this very interesting concept of uh, landlord model of port development see understand in the present context indian government has 11 major ports functioning as trusts there is 12th port that is called Karma, uh, this uh, Kamarajar port or Enor port that is in Tamil Nadu uh, and this is a company it is registered under Companies Act it's a private port corporate port in India first corporate port but rest of the 11 major ports are working as trusts under the major 
Ports Trust Act 1963. Now, existing model that we follow uh, is giving conflict of interest because the owners of the port, they also participate in operations. So, they are regulators also and they are functioning also, providing services also. So, regulator himself providing services, it's a conflict of interest. It leads to inefficiency. It also does not give free and fair competition to all the other players. So, it is not good in the interest of economy. That is why the global standard is this landlord model. And the first port where it is being implemented, which will be the third major, 13th major port of India, is Ward 1 in uh, Dahanu uh, in Maharashtra. So, here, uh, but uh, you know, what is the problem here in implementation? If we have to follow this global standard model of landlord system, landlord model, for port development, you need to privatize the existing uh, state-run cargo berths and there is going to be huge opposition to this uh, step, right? Uh, this at Vadhwan, it is being implemented by forming a special purpose vehicle of which the lead player is JNPT. Now, question number 21, uh, sorry, uh, 18 Zalaipala, we'll, we'll speak ab about question number 19. So, here answer is uh, D in 18, question number 18, 1, 2, 3, question 19, decreasing order uh, so here answer is B 21435 uh, you can just go through that it's it's factual question number 20 uh, 15th finance commission again here answer is D 1234 all are correct all these are criteria 21 cultural history of India right Sapta Matrikas now this is answer is C uh, these were created these are believed these were created by Lord Shiva to fight against Andhakasur so that is the story how it goes so, C is mother goddesses, each of whom is female counterpart of a god and they were created to de defeat the Andhakasur by Shiva. Now, question number 22, uh, identify the person, it, it's Savitri by Phule, it's very, very clear from the description given, right, first female teacher of India. Uh, question number 23, again, the description is given, Lion of Punjab and all, it's, it's Raja Ranjit Singh, there's no doubt, absolutely. Question 14, uh, the state, it's about Darashiko. Why Darashiko has been in news? Because uh, government has given a project to, uh, I, I think ASI and many other uh, experts are participating to identify the tomb of Darashiko, which is believed to be near the Humayu's tomb, and then uh, try to locate it elsewhere. Uh, why government is, I mean, seems to be uh, considering this positively? The reason is Darashiko, uh, as you read the material scriptures available, it says that Darashiko is considered as a liberal Muslim. Right? He tried to find commonalities between Hindu and Islamic traditions. He had got Bhagavad Gita and 52 Upanishads translated into Persian. So, he is considered very moderate, considerate and open-minded, liberal person, much ahead of his time in Mughal tradition. He was the eldest son of Shah Jahan. And now, here it is said that the third statement, right? He was defeated by his younger brother, uh, Muhyuddin Muhammad, none other than Aurangzeb. Right? Aurangzeb defeated Darashiko in the battle of uh, Samugad, right? And if this, I mean, the, the conjecture is, if this battle was won by Darashiko, India's history would have been a bit different and many people who lost their lives because of religious violence and communalism in the country would have been saved. But then, history, who said history is fair, right? As uh, Harari says, right? History is, who said history is fair? History is not fair. So, uh, he had lost battle to Aurangzeb in uh, Samugad. He is the eldest son of Shah Jah, right, and uh, liberal Muslim. So, this is about Darashiku, question number 24. Answer here is 1 and 3 because it is asked that what is correct. So, 1 and 3 is correct. Orthodox, he was not orthodox. So, that is the problem here, right. And question number 25, last, uh, again, we have to identify the personality. Tashkent agreement, which is Lahal Badur Shastri. Answer is C. So, this is all from my side. I uh, wish you good luck for your studies. Stay healthy, stay safe. Thank you.